<laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, I think I have allergies. 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 Um, yeah, I think I have allergies right now. But, I want to talk to you guys today. So, it's May. My birthday is the 18th. Um, and I'm excited about my birthday. Um, I'm excited um, <clears throat> that, um, you know, I made it. Um, I'll be 41. Um, you know, I know it's hard. I know it's hard to believe, right? I know I look 25, right? Right. <laughs> so I'll be 41. Um, so if you guys just started following me, um, or you guys just started to subscribe or tap in. I am Tanisha Adjo, catcher. But for sure, I call myself Tanisha Adjo. But people know me as Coach Tanisha Marie. Um, I've been online marketing for over 12 years. Um, I was an Amazon seller, eBay seller, Shopify seller. Um, online selling, Instagram selling, Facebook group selling, YouTube selling. Um, and I've literally made my career from the online marketing space. Okay. But prior to the online marketing space, I, um, I had a job. I went to York college, um, graduated with my bachelor's degree, it took me six years so I got my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree. It took me six years to get those both, well, five, it took me about eight years. Yeah, about seven, eight years to get both of those degrees. Um, and then once I got out, um, I really didn't want to do what I went to school for, um, which now I end up being a social worker, um, but that's not what I wanted to do. Um, when I was taking my bachelor's, um, I wanted to be a teacher. And I went to school, I did my, all my internships, I did the prep classes for the teacher's exam, all of that, like I did all of that stuff, right? Um, so I really wanted to be a teacher, came out, ended up being a social worker, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to be into the school system. Um, because even before, you know, I became an entrepreneur, I was good in math and I wanted to give back. I felt like being a teacher was a way to give back to the next generation. So I always wanted to be a teacher. So it was in me to want to teach people. Um, but I got discouraged because I couldn't pass the test. Find out the test was biased. People sued 400,000 and... <clears throat> And then they revamped the test after some years. But by that time, I no longer wanted to be a teacher. Um, I'm married 15 years. Me and my husband also celebrates 15 years of marriage, um, June 8th. Um, I have my youngest daughter, who's 15. Um, my oldest daughter, who's, how old is on me? I think she'd be 23 this year, I think. I think she'd be 23 this year. Um, losing count. So a 23-year-old and a 14-year-old. Um, two girls. Um, I have three homes, um, six cars, um, several businesses um, that I run um, on a daily basis. Um, a team. I got a host of associates, and then I have my core set of you know five or six friends, um, you know that I connect with on a daily basis. So, in a nutshell, that's me. Um, so this video, I wanted to talk about planting seeds. So just like I said, when I was in college, which was 2003, 2001, um, 2002, I wanted to, um, be a teacher, right? So it stayed with me, even as a social worker, when I went to the job, um, you can ask any of my coworkers, if you ever see them, 
Um, I used to teach my coworkers. Like there used to be this company called ING Direct. And what they allowed you to do was put like $10 a week into like a savings account and you would get a certain amount of money on your money, interest, you know, on your money. So I would like show my coworkers like how to set up an ING account and like how to, you know, start putting $10 in. So I was always a trainer. <laughs> I was always a teacher, like just period. So <clears throat> again, I always wanted to be a teacher, a um, math teacher. I feel like I was good at math. And once I got fired, I got fired from the city of New York. Okay, now some people may say, girl, is you crazy? You was working um, for the city of New York, um, you know, with benefits. And, you know, you was able to move up and all that stuff. None of that shit fazed me because I wasn't happy. Right. And, and this is what this is why I work with women, not only women. Right. Because men always say, well, you don't work with men. Yeah, I work with men, but <clears throat> women. Right. I help women tap in. Right. To what their purpose is. Right. Because I don't want to be a social worker. I just end up being a social worker because I was tired. Right. Of going to school. I was in school for like seven, eight years. I didn't want to keep going to school. Hell no. So I became a social worker. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I liked the social work my first year. I had a great supervisor, Banasha, great woman. She, I think she was an AKA. She was on the move. She like handheld me, took me to the schools, took me to the houses. If you know anything about ACS and CPS workers, that's really what I was. Um, but it was under the category of social work, but I was a CPS work, a child protective specialist. So, and then um, was with a nonprofit as well. So the kids that were removed from homes, I had to go see them in foster care. I had to go see them in school. I had to go see them at the park, whatever. All right, so the first year was cool. Banasha, shout out to her. She literally walked me through everything. She wasn't like backstabbing, she wasn't like, you know, you know, like supervisors, supervisors get that stupid vibe. Like she wasn't like, she was too big and you know, now she a supervisor and now she, no. Lady was humble, cool. She left after that, it was hell working there, right? So after five years of working there, I was fired, but I wanted to get fired, right? Because I was tired, right? I was tired of that job. Every day going to the job. Every day got to write notes. Every day got to go see kids. Every day got to have conferences with, with the police and the judge. And the, I was done. My head was hurting. I just had my last daughter. It was like 2011. I, I was just done, right? I was completely over the whole job shit. Once I got fired, that's when Obama was in office and I got unemployment. Unemployment lasted me for two years. I used to live in the basement. Um, I used to drive a 1989 Toyota Corolla with the trunk always up. Like literally at the stoplight, I would literally have to go put my, my car in park and put the trunk down. Like it was crazy. Had my one year old, my daughters, you know, they was in the cars. Like it was embarrassing. But that was, you know, my life. So, um, fast forward, um, my cousin introduced me to network marketing. She introduced me to sales. She introduced me to marketing. She introduced me to advertising. Um, and I came online about 2011, I'm going to say maybe 2011, 2010, trying to find ways just to make money, trying to find ways to build my business, right? And I started running into all of these different programs. Empower Network, BSN, MLSP, this program, that program. And it's like, oh, you got to get all these programs. So I didn't have any money, <clears throat> but still had to get all these programs. So I maxed out my husband's credit cards, which, of course, that caused issues. That caused problems. That caused, you know, friction, you know, in my marriage where me and my husband was button heads now all the time. Mind you, I still lived in a basement with my husband. He just became a CO. Um, he just got his gun license. He just, <clears throat> you know, we was just starting out, right? As, as, as a couple, right? We got married in 2009. Yeah, I want to say 20, yeah, 2009. Um, and by like 2012, I mean, uh, what was it? 2009, 10, 11, 12. So like 20, 
12, you know, we trying to get in the groove, you know, of things. So once I got fired, he wasn't really feeling it. He was like, listen, you need to go get a job. This job ain't it. I mean, this working on the internet shit ain't it. Um, this ain't bringing in no money. You're only making $300 a week with <clears throat> you know, unemployment. So that wasn't really much to help out. I was literally a stay at home mom. So it was a lot, right? And I'm just telling you all that so you can just kind of get like an idea, right? Of what I am and do, right? So again, I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, fast forward, um, I ended up becoming a coach online. Hired a mentor a couple of years later when I started making some money online. He was like, listen, you know, there's a lot of people that need services, a lot of people that need to know how to get leads, a lot of people that know how to need to build websites, and you know how to do that. So I've learned how to do that over the course of being in all these systems. I learned marketing, I learned ads, I learned this, I learned, I learned so many different things, right? So now, one of my mentors said, you should start teaching people. So I just put like a Facebook post out there like, oh, you know, I'm doing a free class on helping people get leads. I think I had like 50 people sign up did the class. I started charging $20 a month. I think like 20 people signed up for the class. I was like, oh shit, people really signed up for this. So, <laughs> so I started teaching classes and then people, you know, started seeing me as a coach. So really, I think I, I birthed myself as coach Tanisha in like 2015, maybe 2016, um, when coach Tanisha kind of birthed. Uh, because now I had students, now I had people following me, now I had people wanting to pay me to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I felt like, you know, this business shit is working now. Like, it's really, really working. So this was 2016. Uh, I'm a teacher. You know, I'm still doing all these, you know, webinars. I'm still doing, um, you know, the, the, the trainings. I'm still doing all these videos. Boom, boom, boom. I get into TLC. TLC is a network marketing company. I recruit 700 people in five years. Love TLC, I lost weight with TLC, um, vitamins, the tea, all of that stuff. Like network marketing literally got me my start in marketing, advertising, and sales, right? Because with, I feel like everybody should be in some type of network marketing company, whether it's product-based, service-based, you should be in some type of network marketing company where you're able to go out and learn from other people that are operating at a higher level than you. But of course, you know, we shun against network marketing because like, oh, everybody at the bottom. I mean, everybody at the top make all the money and everybody at the bottom don't make any money, which is not true, right? Which is truly not true. And at the end of the day, if you have a job, your job is the same structure as network marketing. It's a business. Network marketing, you got to pay taxes. Network marketing, you got to market. Network marketing, you got expenses, right? Except... Of course, people shun against it because you got to recruit people and all that stuff. But a lot of millionaires, billionaires have come out of network marketing. So, again, I have built a team, been rocking. Um, I almost got my $100,000 ring with TLC. I got my $50,000 ring. But I probably made multiple six figures in the five years with TLC. I love TLC. Literally, I recruited most of my people on YouTube into TLC. Again, TLC was new in North America. I got in at the right time. I was already doing videos. I blew up. I think I was almost a regional director within TLC until TLC cut me off because now the FTC gave them a six-figure fine. And a lot of my videos were talking about lose five pounds in five days, how you can make all this money. And they said that was enticing and I couldn't have those videos up. I refused to take the videos down, so they cut my account off. So I was, of course, I was upset. Of course, I was mad. Of course, I was like, well, damn. <laughs> Network marketing is nothing but a high paying job. They literally can cut your income off at any given point. Of course, there's no health benefits. There's no retirement benefits, but they can literally cut you off at any point. So I kind of opened up my mind and I'm like, Network marketing, man, this, I don't know if I'm going to do network marketing. So I kind of got like, you know what? I don't even want to do network marketing right now. I was in my econ. My econ was a credit um, a credit business, um, you know, as well. <clears throat> I was like, you know, I don't want to do none of this. Like, I was like, I got to reinvent myself. I got to figure out a way, you know, to do something different. So of course I was already into Amazon selling. I was already into eBay selling. So really I just pushed myself back into it probably about, I want to say 
2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, TLC cut my account off in 21, 2021. Um, I think it was 2021. Yeah, maybe 2021 or 22. Maybe, no, 2022. They cut my account off. So once they cut my account off, I joined TLC in 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I was in TLC for like six years. And what's crazy about TLC is that that was the only company I was really faithful to. Like, I was going to the events. I was getting on the calls. I was recruiting people. Like, I was really a network marketer. Uh, shoot. I thought it would be a thousand per month. I have to save up. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, how this works, right? So, how, so how this works is, well, somebody, um, just, um, text me. Um, so how this works is that I was a full-blown network marketer. I was excited. I was like, well, I'm really doing it. I was having home party. People was coming to my house. I'm picking up products. Like I was really doing it. In the meantime, I still was doing my e-commerce. I was doing Amazon. I was drop shipping on Amazon. I was drop shipping on eBay. I was drop shipping on, um, what else I was drop shipping. Well, I was drop shipping wherever I could drop ship, right? Um, I launched a onesie line, um, plus size for women. I made about 50 grand with that, like my first couple of months, um, that was during the pandemic. Um, so i did a lot of businesses and a lot of, um, different things But I'm saying all that to say, like I planted my seeds along the way. That's what this video is really about. <laughs> I planted my seeds along the way. Okay, I planted my seeds along the way. Okay, I planted my seeds along the way. Okay, and planting my seeds along the way was getting my CLC thing shut down after I learned marketing and after I built up a whole team and built up all, almost a six figure business, right? doing Amazon and, and failing at Amazon and, and, and people doing chargebacks, right? Then being a coach, right? And then for people to talk shit about me. Oh, your prices is too high. Oh, she's too aggressive. Like all these times I'm building myself. Throughout this whole time I'm building and rebuilding and restructuring and rebranding and hiring coaches and hiring mentors and hiring people right? To do this, right? To do this thing, right? To be able to now be where I'm at right now, right? So although, right, I wanted, right, to be a math teacher, I didn't pass the test. Today, May 2024, God said, Okay, after TLC shut my account down, I was devastated. Then I had to reinvent myself again. All right, sis, what you going to do? Because now TLC literally took away. I was making 800 a week. People think, oh, 800 a week, 800 a week passive income on top of everything else I was doing. That's what, That was good money in network marketing. Okay, now that means I had a team. So they took that away. So, <clears throat> you know, I started to feel bad. I was like, man, like, what do I need to do? That same year, when TLC shut my account down, 2022, October, I joined an entrepreneur class and they paid us $2,000 for six months to take this class to learn how to get MWBE certified. So MWBE certification is the Women Minority Business Enterprise Certificate, meaning that you can do business with the federal government, state government, city government. You can bid on million dollar contracts, $10 million contracts, right? Which all, which black minority people have never had these opportunities to bid on these large, um, um, you know, to bid on these large opportunities, right? They never had, they never had that, right? So now I took this class, they told us about it. And they also told us about being a DOE vendor. So DOE vendor is a um, department of education. So now you get a vendor's license, you're able to now go into the schools and provide your products and services to the school system. That's why I do encourage if you're a woman, 
um, to get your DOE number. It don't matter what state you're in. All schools have, you know, vendors numbers. Um, and then become MWBE certified so you can tap into 60 billion, 70 billion, a hundred billion dollars so that, you know, you can just have more opportunities, you know, for yourself outside of your job or outside of your traditional business. So me planting all these seeds in 2022 was like the turning point for me because I feel like the men that were teaching the class were like drilling us like, Get your MWBE certified, uh, certificate. Get it. Here's how to do it. Um, go into the schools. I just got another twenty five thousand dollar contract to go into the schools four times for four hours. Like they was just drilling us in a good way, right? It wasn't like you know we felt pressured or anything. They just was like, listen. They was just bringing it to our attention that there's zero point zero three percent of black women vendors in the school system. And 25% of the school system is made up of black kids. And it's only two black women <laughs> providing services. He was like, shit is insane. He was like, this is a wide open opportunity. So, of course, for me being an entrepreneur, looking for new things, I'm like, shit, let me get my MWBE. Boom, they gave me the step. They showed me what to do. I applied for my MWBE. Got my MWB, took three months. My DOE number, I actually got six years ago from my last daughter's school. Well, my first daughter's school because I was cool with the principal and I asked her about it and she nominated me. I got the number in one week, all right? So now I got my DOE number. Now I got my MWB. Now I got to sign up for the passport so I can get paid. Wonderful, all right? Wonderful. So, of course, I started to explore. 2023 came around. I started going to all the career days for the schools. I started doing free parent workshops. I started doing free workshops for the kids. I started doing free workshops for principals. One thing led to a next. So in, in the pandemic, so back fast forward, I mean, back up a little bit. In the pandemic, when the kids was doing remote learning, my daughter was on a computer playing, my nephew, my kids, kid, my kids' friends was on the computer. They playing Roblox, they supposed to be in class. I go on the Zoom, the teacher ain't there, the teacher left, the teacher went to the bathroom, oh, the teacher had to go downstairs, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So I said, man, what if I had a book or something that the kids could be reading right now, right? So boom, the ABCs of Wealth Building literally was born, right? So <clears throat> again, again, that was like a dormant idea, right? In 21, I didn't think about it, but I already had three books on Amazon. So I was already an author. So this is not like I just became an author with this book. I was already an author from like 2017, 2016. I was writing eBooks and I got eBooks still on Amazon to this day, right? So 23 came and I started going, you know, to these principal events and the book didn't launch yet until August. I mean, until eight, uh, March, 2023. So I got with a printer, I got with a publisher, I got with an editor, I got with a coach to show me what to do because I never wrote a children's book before. So I said, you know what? I need coaching. I need I need coaching. Like, that's how it works in life. Guys, you need coaching. You need marriage coaching. You need mental health coaching. You need business coaching. You need coaching, right? So I had to pay someone $600 an hour, literally. No, not saying I'm lying. $300 an hour for her to show me what to do. So it was worth it. I was like, okay, cool. So now I'm going to his principal's meeting. I'm showing them like the mock-up of it. I'm showing them the vision board. Then I get with my girlfriend, Jennifer. She's a teacher. She shows me how to correct a curriculum. She shows me how to write a plan. She shows me how to do outcomes. She shows me how to do like all of this stuff, right? So after doing so many career days and free workshops, one principal that I met with called me and said, what can you do for the kids in the month of May, 2023? I said, well, I can do vision boards. They can read the book. I can teach them about money. I can show them what to do. She said, how about this? You do a vision board for the parents and then I'm gonna give you three classes to also do vision boards with. And I said, okay, cool. She said, send me a proposal with your prices and everything that's included, right? Because with the Board of Ed, everything got to be written down. 
Okay, so now, mind you, this is my first time, okay? My first time actually getting paid money after doing all of that, after planting all those seeds. So I really didn't know what to put. I'm like, she wanted me to do four sessions for one hour. No, four sessions for 40 minutes. I'm like, shit, how much should I charge for this? And I remember in the class, from the entrepreneur class in 2022, he said that the schools have a lot of money. That's all they kept saying. The schools got a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. There's not enough black women in there. There's people that's charging millions of dollars to do nothing with the kids in school. So, I just went off the fly. And I put 8,500. Just off, sure, I was like, let me, let me see. Oh, oh, the most she can say is no. Like, rejection ain't shit to me. Like, I've been a business owner, people done said no to me plenty of times. So I was like, let me just put 8,500. I said, the, the, the worst she can say is no, and then maybe she, you know, will just negotiate. Sent it over to her, text her. Hey, you know, I sent you the proposal. Let me know what you think about it. Next day, her business manager, because all principals have business managers in their school. Business manager. Oh, hey, Tanisha, you know, could you send me over, you know, your documents, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, you can get paid. And I'm like, get paid? Like, I just sent you over a proposal. You ain't telling me if it was, you know, like approved or not. And she was like, yeah, it's, it's approved. We got to gotta do the purchase order. I'm like, it's approved? I said, I'm about to get $8,500 for four hours? <laughs> I was like, wait, huh? I was like, wait a minute. That's like doctor money. When that shit hit my account, changed my whole perspective. I said, <laughs> I'm supposed to be a math teacher. <laughs> I said, I'm supposed to be a math teacher. So literally, this is my anniversary. May 2024 is my anniversary of one year getting paid with the school system. Crazy. So now I'm excited. So now I'm networking with teachers. Like, listen, shit, I'm talking to everybody now. Fuck it. Like the 8,500 just gave me the fuel to be like, listen, I need to talk to everybody. I'm talking to teachers, I'm talking to paras, I'm talking to the librarians, I'm talking to the anybody, the social workers. Hey, you know, I could come do a free class for your kids and your, <laughs> your parents. Oh, you know, send us a proposal. Boom, 1,500 for 30 minutes, approved. What? Another school, 1,500 for 40 minutes to do a vision board. Approve another school. Oh, send me an invoice. Um, you know, we want to get 50 books for the kids. Boom. Approve. I'm like, Shh, shit. Next school. Boom. Oh, we want to order for all our after school kids. Oh, send us, you know, an invoice for, you know, 30, you know, 30 books. Oh, boom. Next. Approve. Boom. Dead charter schools. Boom. Oh, we need 50 books. Boom. I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, what up? I'm like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, bro. Like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, bro. Like. <laughs> this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Period. Period. Boom. Go to the Chancellor's meeting last year. Maybe September. He talking about, oh, they got all this money. They got billions. 
and they want to get people in to service the kids. Hallelujah. My colleague gave me a lady's email. I know, I know who she was. He was like, oh, this school is also looking for people. Cool. Let me email her. Hey, such and such. You know, I got your info from my colleague, blah, blah, blah. This is who I am. I would like to meet with you. Now, usually when you email principals, they don't get right back to you. Lady responded. She said, when you're available. I'm looking at my phone like, I just texted. this. I just emailed the damn lady. She said, when you're available. She sent me her calendar. She said, pick a date and I'll put you on the calendar. Say less. Gets on the calendar with the lady. Gets on the calendar with the lady. She interviews me. Hey, we're looking, you know, for some women, you know, to come in and, you know, provide services to our children. And I'm doing financial literacy. She said, yes, we want financial literacy. Tell us, you know, what you remember. Mind you, I already got the book. I, I don't have the workbook yet, but I already got the book. I already got the curriculum. My friend Jennifer helped me with the curriculum. So I'm just breaking down, telling her what I'm going to do in seven weeks. She's like, okay, let me talk to my team. The next month, she hit me up. Oh, are you able to come in? Yeah. Yeah, lady. I'm able to come in. What time? <laughs> 6 a.m.? Huh? 4 a.m.? What you, what you need? 4 p.m.? What you need? <laughs> what, what, what time you need me to be there, baby? 10 a.m. I'm driving there, not realizing that my oldest daughter graduated from there. I'm like, I used to come to this school all the time. Hold up. Because my daughter had diabetes, so she used to, you know, go through her little episodes and stuff. So I literally had to go up to the school and, you know, pick her up and stuff like that. So I was like, wow, coming here all the time. Walk into school. I see one of the security guards. They like, oh, shoot, what you doing here? Like, I'm like, oh, shit. This, this, shit, I used to go here. The fuck, I used to come here all the time. Then I saw a teacher, but he's a principal. Crazy, I'm telling you. I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be doing this shit. <laughs> One of the principals, well, he wasn't a principal then. He's a principal now. He's one of the principals now. He was my daughter's culinary arts teacher. And he remembered me. He was like, oh, hey. He was like, he was like aren't you Harmony? I was like, who the hell are you? Like, I was like, oh, I was Harmony's culinary. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, this got to be a dream come true. I go into the conference room. It's like 20 people sitting around a table. They, they literally waiting for me. I'm like, shit, I don't know these people. Like, of course, I'm nervous. Like, okay, who the fuck are all these people? So I have worksheets. So they print out the worksheets. Everybody, I'm seeing everybody looking through my worksheets and all that stuff. So I'm like, shit, I don't know what the fuck to say to these people. So everybody introduced themselves to me. You know, they was like, oh, we're excited to see you. So, of course, I'm assuming they did all their research. She's like, oh, we're excited. So I told them, I was like, oh, my daughter used to go here. Like, <laughs> I know the principal. I know the security guard. Like, the lady was like, "Word." She was like, all right, well, show us what you can do. I said, just give me a piece of paper and a pen. Literally showed them an outline of what I can do for the kids. My seven-week program on financial literacy, investing, and, and being successful. Three of the principals said, how soon can you get started? When you want me to start today? <laughs> so the other lady who I actually emailed, I didn't even know. She's not even a principal. She's like one of the liaison people. She wasn't even the principal, so she wasn't the decision maker. But she brought me in, so I'm grateful for her all day, all the fucking day long. After it, lady said, the principal said, send us a send a proposal to the lady that you emailed. Seven week program for seven weeks. Right, I'm charging eight thousand dollars. No, eighty five hundred, eighty five hundred to ten thousand dollars. Right, send it over to them. They approve it. Purchase order. 
everything. Boom. I'm in the school. I'm rocking. They give me ID. They give me like an official staff ID. Everything. I'm like, shit. I done hit the jackpot. I'm here eight times and I'm getting paid $1,000 an hour. Halfway through my program, the other lady comes. Oh, hey, Tanisha. You know, the budget's about to close. And we, you know, we got about 20 grand left. And we don't want to waste it, so we're interested, you know, if you can extend your time with us and, you know, train some more kids. We want me to start. We want me to start. She said, oh, you know what? We'll just put, you know, the work orders in. Uh, we approve everything, and we'll work the logistics out later. Say less. So now... So now, for three months, I'm getting paid almost $30,000 to teach kids. I'm getting paid more than teachers at the highest tenure level. Always wanted to be a math teacher. I'm literally a math teacher <laughs> getting paid math, getting paid money. Then, so my program was over. The kids gave me flowers, nice thank you note. I was like, oh, like, you know, that warmed my heart. I was like, oh, the kids love me. So, of course, the lady's like, oh, my God, the kids love you. Um, Send us a proposal for next year. I'm like, shit. Then I spoke to the other lady. I said, I want to do a wealth summit and a girl summit. She was like, send me a proposal so we can see if we can add in the budget. Say less. Say less. Then I get invited to go to the MWBE event. So you get exclusive invitations to these events to talk to principals and superintendents. What? Staten Island. I go to this event. I get a chance to connect with like 10, 15 principals. One principal hires me on spot. She like, I need you to come back to my school May 21st to talk to my parents. How much you going to charge? I said, what's your budget? She said, 500. She said, I only need you for 30 minutes. Say less so whatever I had to do that day is I'm doing that then I, mean, I can go on and on the casino so I do big pop ups in my area so I bring like a hundred vendors they pay their fee and people come out to shop last year I did an event in a place that I can no longer have events. And the spot was beautiful. I can't have events there anymore. My fault, unfortunately, I lost that contact. I go to the casino. I'm thinking it's for an interview. I mean, I'm thinking it's for a seminar. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go sit down. My wig was turned. My wig wasn't slayed. I had flip flops on. I think my one, you know, one of my spandex I had a hole in it. I had my bag with me. I wasn't like, I'm like, I'm just coming to like a seminar, you know, just to hear some stuff. I mean, I wasn't like a bump, never that, but you know, I wasn't looking my best. So the lady was like, oh, you could talk to the HR guy. So I'm like, okay, you know, let me talk to him. Let me see, you know. So I'm sitting there, he looking at me. I'm looking at him, I'm like, I mean, I thought he was about to tell me something. So he's like, well, tell me about you. Who are you? Like, so of course, so I tell him who I am. Um, I started telling him, um, you know, what I do. Um, I started telling him, you know, how I can help employees and what I do for the kids. And he was like, you do financial literacy? I was like, yeah. He was like, I'm having a, a wellness fair in two days. This is two days now. 
I was like, okay. He was like, can you come and you can sell your books? Now, this is the casino. They're having a wellness fair for their employees. He said, oh, we're going to have about 200 employees. Bring your books to come sell. I'm like, what? Like, who does sell their books at the casino, bro? Me. Say less. Our goals go to the casino event, sells my books. He said to me, now the casino's huge. The casino has a floor that's huge. It can hold like 5,000 people. He says to me, let me know if you want to do an event. I can get you connected to the person. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh, that's somebody for my birthday. Because I'm doing a yacht party to celebrate. Yes. I'm having a yacht party. For my birthday. And I invited my friends. And they come in. Ow. She just texts me like, oh, what kind of champagne you want, sis? Hold on, I'm doing a video, so I'm going to get back to y'all. <laughs> so he says, Tanisha, if you want to do an event here, just let me know. We'll get you connected to the people that does events. I'm like, what? So one door closed with the event space, a bigger and better one opens. A casino? A Black Excellence Festival pop-up shop in the casino? Never been done. I'm like, God. Tears in my eyes. I'm like, God, you're amazing, man. You're amazing. You're amazing. I'm like, God, you're amazing. How you just come out the blue? Like, if you want to use this space, I'll get you connected. Tears of joy. I'll get you connected to the people who do events. This place holds 5,000 people. One door closed with the teaching. Another one, bigger and better opens up. One door closed with that event space. A bigger and better one opens up. Plant your seeds, guys. Plant your seeds. Keep planting your seeds. Fuck what everybody else is saying. Fuck all the haters. Fuck all the family members who ain't with you. Fuck all the family members who downing you, talking shit about you. Fuck all the people that didn't believe in you. One door closed, another one is open, a bigger and better. Plant them seeds, man. Keep planting them seeds. Keep planting them seeds, man. Keep planting them seeds. Keep planting them seeds. I don't know who needed to hear this. And if you made it to the end, and if you made it to the end, I'm going to give you my 50 ways to make money PDF. So just send me an Instagram message or email me and I'll send you that. 50 ways to make money um, online. Well, just in general. <clears throat> Keep planting your seeds, guys. Keep planting your seeds. I always wanted to be a math teacher. I literally became what I wanted to become. I love bringing people together. Now I got the ultimate unlimited space to do it. Keep planting your seeds, guys. Keep planting your seeds.
keep planting your seeds. Because guess who's watching? Guess who's watching? God's watching. Keep planting your seeds. God's watching. Keep planting your seeds. God is watching. Peace.